So uh, I'm just doing another video here uh, for my lawnmower upgrade. Well, uh, what I'm showing here is the um, replication of the uh, the Geet device. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and explain it before I Teflon it and put it all together because then I won't be able to show all the parts. Here is the uh, outer tube and uh, this was really easy to put together. I just got it and put the two T's on there from the hardware store. This is one inch and then this is a half inch. Now this right here is a lot harder to put together uh, than the outside one is because it's got a couple of uh, unique parts to it. Is that and this over here has to be threaded in backwards and the way that they have it from the factory is with a taper so you can't just buy this these end pieces here they're called uh, hex bushings you can't just buy them at the store and just thread this piece this half inch nipple just right on in because it won't work uh, you have to turn them around backwards and uh, use a tap it's a one half by 14 MPT tap, and that way, then these will then screw on here. Um, I didn't do anything special to it. Besides, I took my file and I just kind of cleaned it up, gave it a nice little edge on it. Uh, also, um, I had to cut. I don't remember how long it was, but I had to make it fit exact, and I ended up having to cut off an inch off of this end right here and re-thread right here. At Home Depot, I had them cut it off and re-thread it. It only took them about five, ten minutes to do the whole thing. So anyway, here, I'll grab this and set it up so you can probably just see how it fits. Take this one here, and it just slides down on in there. But uh, it's not easy because it has another hard part. Once you thread this thing on in here, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. It's a little bit complicated, but I think it's doable. Alright, now look. See here how this just sits just like that? Well, you can't have too much, otherwise you won't be able to get that last hex nut on the end. And, uh, now what you gotta do is thread this through these threads on the inside and on the outside and get down on both of them. It's, it's pretty rough, but it's possible. There's a technique to it, I kind of figured it out, is you have to keep them real loose and you stick your finger in just like this and kind of hold on to that pipe right there and just kind of get the threads to catch and I don't know of any other way really to tighten down there's no way to grab a hold of it or anything but uh, I'm about to at least Teflon it up and try and tighten it down and see what I can get so uh let you know how everything goes together. Anyway, these are the hard parts about putting this thing together. I've seen some good guys, they they trying to help out and they get on and tell you it's really easy and everything like that. And yes, yeah, easy, but it's not. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I'll make another one soon. See you.